Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Bad Thought Studios. Today, we got Candid joining me. We're going to be watching and giving our reaction to Craven the Hunter. Um, the trailer just came out today, or I think it was last night or today. I can't remember, but it is fresh. Um, I think this is the one of the two most anticipated movies coming out from Sony. Um, of mm -hmm. course, Venom what is probably the most, and I would say Craven, since it was announced, people have been talking about this movie uh they've been wanting it for the longest time and of course thunderbolts thunderbolts is another movie that uh people have wanted uh, but yeah we're getting craven and um it's starring uh aaron taylor johnson russell crowe um ariana debose uh character or actors like that so um aaron aaron taylor johnson um he was Quicksilver, what we just kind of talked about before we started mm -hmm. filming. What's your opinion on this, bro? So, um, if you guys watch my videos over on my TikTok, you know, the Candy Camper with an extra R at the end, uh, TikTok, um, I kind of go over the difference, <laughs> how I feel about people playing a different Marvel character or a different role as a superhero. It kind of starting to get to that point where there's hundreds of millions of people in this world that we could pick to do these parts. Why are we re why are we just keep doing the same person over and over again? Um, I was also telling tones like this is not the same situation as RDJ and this isn't even a Chris Evans situation. So it's not like these are huge roles. The only thing is that Craven is Craven can become bigger than what he's supposed to be if this mm -hmm. movie does crush it. But that's still a, it's that will erase the Quicksilver part. You can't erase RDJ and Iron Man. You can't erase doom and rdj even though we haven't seen it yet those are two big characters where chris evans as captain america he got to erase his part as um the human torch yeah so i i don't think this is that big a situation so what i'm getting at is i still don't think that we should be casting the same people as superheroes multiple superheroes it should be a new cast um this isn't a huge role where we needed to have him as craven yeah, and I don't think you're arguing the part of specifically him being. Oh no, no, no! He's great. Just, I think yeah. he's great. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's the just the recycling of, of, of correct Marvel characters that was once a Marvel character and now a different Marvel character. So I, correct. I totally get what you're saying, and it, like you said, it is very different from what they're doing with RDJ. Um, his character, he's doomed for a reason, and it will eventually, hopefully, relate to iron man the tony stark that we know so um but i do get what you're saying having him even though he was once a marvel character having to recycle him as a new one and it was funny the way you said it you're like there's a ton of people in this world that act <laughs> it was funny yeah. but no he he's a great he's a phenomenal actor and that's not what we're and i'm on your side on this one i i am and now that you preface Whoa. it that way yeah Are you feeling all right is a full moon <laughs> if you preface it that way, I I get what you're saying. Um, yeah, it's a. But I, I don't. I'm not taking away from from him. Yeah, from actor, him as an actor, obviously yeah. he got the role for a reason, and yeah, he's, he's probably a crushed it. Yeah, he's a phenomenal actor, and and you never know. It might be great, but it, you are correct on the on the the point of having to use actors that were once in the Marvel universe rather than mm -hmm. just going to go find someone else. And we hope he kills it. And we, we probably know he's going to kill this movie and do great at it. But um, yeah, great point. I like that. Um, I never really thought of it like that, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. And the, these, these actors that we're getting are mo most of the time I'll say are great actors. Um, the, the problem that we've had with Marvel and, and it is, this is kind of different because it is Sony that's doing this movie rather than, you know, Disney. Um, mm -hmm. So this is going to be a different outlook on Marvel because it's not, you know, has nothing to do with Disney. It's going to be Sony, like I said. Um, <clears throat> but that being said, people anticipated this to be good because of the character. People love the Craven character, Craven the mm -hmm. Cra Craven the Hunter. So <laughs> there you go. Um, I am excited Sergey about Craven it. Up. <laughs> I I I I am excited because not only is it going to be a good movie, but it comes out the day after my birthday. So now you know what to do. Wow! Take, take me out for my birthday, brother. Let's do it. Um, December thirteenth, guys. Uh, this year, Craven comes out. So the whole thing about Craven, if you don't mind me jumping in that, no, no, bit, the whole thing about Craven is that you know he's a villain. Um, he basically is a master hunter. He has a he took like an enhanced like potion mystical potion that gave him all these powers so he has like extended agility 
Um, he can basically shoot arrows and stuff, kind of like Hawkeye in a sense, but more, I don't know, just not the same. But his life goal is to basically prove himself and to defeat Spider-Man. So my whole thing is, is Spider-Man going to be present in this at all? Are we going to try to bring him into this weird world? And where do we sit as far as, this is a good one. Where do we sit as far as the Sony verse and the MCU? And when are we going to get a tie in? And if we will now seeing Fox being brought in with the X-Men and uh, Fantastic Four. Yeah. And, and I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the comic storyline. So this, my statement right now is probably going to be stupid, but I'm going to say it anyway. We have these characters that are doing well, Spider-Man, Venom, Thunderbolts eventually once they come out. I believe Thunderbolts is um, Sony, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's Sony. But at the same time, we're getting these characters and and um, and movies that are have the potential of being good, being great. And if they do have some kind of universe that the Sony wants and to do. Sony or sorry, Thunderbolts is a subsidiary of Disney, not Sony. Disney. Okay, cool. Yeah. So Venom for sure is is uh, Sony, right? Correct. Okay, so Venom and then Spider Man, of course. I do Venom, think have, uh, Madam Web, uh, Morbius. I think we should have some kind of tie in when it comes to these actors or some of these. We characters. need it. Venom. Yeah. Venom was supposed to be our tie in with a lot of things. Yeah. Um, that's a whole nother whole nother video for it. But yeah, no, Venom was our way to tie things in, and we didn't get to do that. And Venom's yeah. doing his own shit in a different universe. So I, uh, you know. I hope we get to see some kind of tie-in, bro. That, that's all uh, I'm kind of... Same. It, it needs to happen. Um, at the same time, there could be, you know, there's people probably going to be out there like, we don't need more characters in the MCU, which I kind of understand. But th- we're going to have a Sony kind of world itself. So You, you, know, you know what I want is I do want more characters in the MCU because there's thousands of them. I don't want where we have a video or a film of the Avengers and then we have that person run by, oh, hey, and then dip out. That's not mm-hmm. that's not them being in the movie. And then they said, well, he was in this and we needed him to because he tied in here. No, bro. Like, I want a movie where he's the What's sidekick important? or she's a sidekick. Exactly. Like, like Ant-Man and Wasp. Like, those mm-hmm. are subsidiary people to the MCU, but we still needed those movies to be able to get us forward. And they they gave them big roles. So I'm not saying we yeah. need a um, a standalone movie for everybody, but we need bigger roles from other characters that are not Thor and Captain America. Yep, I agree. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm ready for the trailer. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Excited. Uh, uh, let's do it. My son. We are hunters, the greatest the world has ever known. Who's next? I heard the noise of thunder. Are you like your father? A gangster? A killer? And I heard a voice. And behold. Hmm? Oh my fuck, oh, dude. There's a man going round. I didn't know Russell Crowe was in this. My son. And he decides who to free. And who to blame? Yes, and the Why you sound good? You play Max. Yes. On your arm, <laughs> will stand up. Tell me about this hunter. <laughs> Once you're on his list, there's only one way off. When the man comes around. When the man comes around. It's unjust. Oh, yeah. Some kind of honor. Some kind of code. You're just another man. Whoever is righteous. Hunting. 
for a trophy. Let him be righteous to just like our father. When the man comes around. When the man comes around. Embrace who you really are, son. Rhino. Okay. And you will become a legend. When the man comes around. That's cool. Okay, they, bro. They just brought in when the man uh, comes around. More people. I like that. Okay, bro. Empower your I'm okay with that. I'm okay with yeah. that, bro. The action looks yeah. phenomenal, bro. I just I just hope it's not like I'm trying I'm gonna play the devil's advocate. I just hope it's not Sony pulling some fucking strings on us right now. Yeah. I, I just I just hope it's not. Um that looked really good. That looked really <laughs> good, dude. <laughs> that looked awesome. Like holy I didn't know Russell Crowe was in that. Yeah. That surprised me a little bit. Yeah. When I looked at the um, cast, I was like, okay. So another thing is too, we got we got two more characters. We got Calypso, and we got um, uh, Rhino at the end there. That Rhino, that looked cool. Mm-hmm. I'm looked I'm sick, excited. But... I'm excited. So I didn't know. I guess because they own all of the Spider Man stuff, so they're gonna pretty, try to put as many many uh, villains as they can in there. And that's where yeah. we're gonna get Hobgoblin later on, probably, and all that stuff too. Again, so. the, awesome. the I'm I'm assuming that's gonna be rated R. I I don't see it on here. Um, for those who are wondering, this movie only has a hundred and thirty million dollar budget, which is per, like not that much for those who don't know. That is not a lot. Of course, it's a lot to some people, but for movies, m- movie for a Marvel making, movie, hundred thirty million dollars is not that much. Um. So that's that's awesome to see. Wow. Bro. Um the cool thing is like Calypso, she can do um like mind reading and she can bring like resurrect people. So we'll we'll see how that plays in. Then obviously Rhino's just a it's a tank. The the action is what's what's separating this movie from from a Disney one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, it is yeah. It is, I just hope that Sony has to come through right here, man. Sony has to come through. They, they need, um, especially after Madam Web and and uh, Morbius. Yeah, Morbius was such a killer concept. Like that character in the M or in the Marvel universe is is a top tier character, and they made that movie just not good. Yep, one hundred percent agree. So, uh, what we do on the channel for those who don't know, because it's been a while since we've done a trailer, uh, go ahead and give this a rating, one through ten, and how likely would you go watch it? Yeah, I'm going to give it an 8, and I'm probably likely going to watch it if you're in town, because we'll go to the movies and see it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'll, be, I'll be down there for my birthday, bro. Don't worry. Hell yeah, let's do it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm right with you. I, I have to agree. At the exact 8. Um, you see the poten- you see the potential this movie has. You see they tried. The, yeah. This, in the trailer, we always harp on a trailer being uh, that that punch that gets you into the movies and to go see it and that's what this trailer did for sure and uh the action of course is something that we were intrigued in and that's why i'm gonna go see it the storyline i i can't really give you a great answer if it's going to be great or not that's my only reason why it's not at a nine or a ten because i i get what the storyline is going with i don't i just don't know if it's something that could hit hard for me for the type of movies that i like so um but yeah, I'm gonna have to give it an eight on um, what I see so far, for sure. Yeah, I love it. I think it's gonna be good for Sony if they pull this off. I really do. Um, I love that I got to see some more Marvel characters in there, and um, good luck. Yep, exactly. Good luck. Um, but guys, make sure you guys are liking the video. Make sure you guys comment and what you guys and tell us what you guys thought about the um, the trailer. Um, you guys can even rate it in the comments as well. If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys do so now. Make sure you guys subscribe with notifications on so you guys are notified once a video is uploaded. Um, go ahead and uh, give Candid a follow on all his social medias. Thank you again for joining me, brother. If you could tell the people where they could find you. Yeah, for sure. Um, you can find me over on TikTok at the Candy Camper with extra R. And then you can find me on IG, same thing. And then here on YouTube at the Candy Camper. 
All right. Yeah, I'll have all his stuff in the description below. So make sure you guys go show him some love. If you guys want to follow me on social media, tones underscore TV on all platforms. Um, and make, like I said, make sure you guys are hitting the subscribe button and the like button. All right. Hope you guys have a great night. Thank you all for watching. Love you all.